Hey, what's up? Brian here with the Holy Roller playing craps on a cruise to win a free cruise. And we get these free cruise offers in the mail and I got this outstanding cruise offer that is mind blowing and I wanted to share it with you. Watch this. Welcome to the Holy Roller where it's all about playing craps and winning free cruises. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. So let's get rolling. All right, well, as you may know, one of the channels we have is the J-Line Network where we show people how to do life hacks to the max is what we call it. And it's mainly just showing people how to build multiple streams of income and using their resources to really lower their expenses and travel costs, if you would. Because here at the Holy Roller, we get free cruises, as you know, but I wanted to tell you some of the little hacks that we have and tell you about this 10-day Hawaiian cruise that we got uh, an offer for. So let me show you how it goes. Pretty much, uh, you get an offer in the mail, whether it's a, a postcard offer like this, and you can choose from any of the dates uh, that come in, and all you have to do is pay taxes and port fees. The other thing is, you can also go online, and I'll show you right here, you can go online and you can get and see all your different offers that you have as well. The postcards and these are usually the same, okay? So then, once you do that, uh, I usually print it out, so I print out the ones that I get online, and then uh, I'll print out mine, I'll print out Amber's, my wife's, and then we'll match them up and see. But check this one out right here at the bottom. Look at this. I thought, what is the best, what is the best cruise on this paper? It was this 10-day Hawaiian cruise. So I'm like, okay, how much does that cost or how much would that cost us? And so I went to the Royal Caribbean site here and I found the date and it says $120.88. So $120.88 for this Hawaiian cruise. It's an interior stateroom and it's about $709. So let me go and select the date here and I'm going to just show you. I'll pull it up and show you once I get it. But basically, we got uh, the $709. I'm going to select the date and then... Uh, that's for two, two people uh, would be double that, so, just so you know. So double the $120, so it's going to be $240. But watch this. Uh, it is, I don't know if you can see this. I know you can't see it, but I'm going to just tell you right here, over here. It goes to, it's from Hawaii. It goes to, uh, man, it goes to, an one of the ports is overnight in Maui. So that's amazing. So it's going to the different islands. Then it's cruising back to Vancouver, which is amazing. Um, and so it's 10, 10 nights, 10 nights, 719, right? I called him. I called him and I said, hey, I would like to redeem this offer. How much would it cost? And they said, sorry, uh, it's it's um it's all booked. There's no more interior staterooms. Oh man, a bummer. Because when when you if you wait till the last minute or if you don't book it right away, they're gone. So the interior staterooms were gone. And I said, so how much would it be for a um an ocean view? Because you can pay the difference. I asked them. They said seven hundred dollars. It's gonna be seven hundred dollars. So I thought still, uh, seven hundred dollar upgrade. And so it'd be $700 plus the 200. So it's about 900, say $1,000 for this 10 day cruise, which was really awesome. I was like, that's still good. And then I said, but hey, tell me what about a balcony? Since I'm paying 700 or having to pay a little bit more, what about a balcony? They get, they got back on the line. They said, wait a minute, uh, let me, let me, let me get back to you. Just a second. Put me on hold. They go, okay, well, I thought it was a glitch in the system, but, uh, it turns out that you could get a balcony that you can get a balcony. And I want to show you uh, how much this would have cost. So uh, there is a balcony. It's not that much more. It's so crazy. Uh, so, so a balcony, um, this whole cruise would have cost uh, 2000 So about $2,000, $2,200. Um, that's a full price. Okay, full price. So I thought, man, that's a really good, and that's the balcony. I'm like, that. so I asked them, and they said this. This is what they said. On the balcony, Ocean View balcony, right, on the Quantum of the Seas, 10-day cruise from Hawaii to Vancouver, 
it was $134 plus $120. So you're looking at $250, $260 for us to go on this cruise, to be on this cruise. However, you have to get to Hawaii. Oh my goodness, have to get to Hawaii. Okay, this is where this card comes in. It's a Southwest Visa card where you have uh, miles and points that, that you earn by using this card. So I wanted to see how much would it cost for a flight to get to Hawaii? Well, the flight to get to Hawaii for two of us was about $250 each. Uh, so that's another 500 and I'm like, oh my gosh, but I had airline points here, airline points. It, and, uh, and it took the points and it cost me $5, $5.60. Now, <clears throat> with Amber, uh, with this card, once you get enough points, you get a free, uh, uh, what's called a companion pass, which means when you buy a ticket, you get one for free. All you have to do is pay the taxes. So I got my ticket for a dollar for five dollars and sixty cents, and I'm getting Amber's ticket for five dollars and sixty cents. That's eleven dollars and twenty cents. We're going to Hawaii for eleven dollars and twenty cents to get on a cruise for two hundred and fifty-four dollars. But you always want to get there the night before, don't you? You don't want to try to get to Hawaii and then hopefully make your flight to get on the cruise that day, right? No, you don't have to because you have to get there the day before. So I got there the day before, and we're going to explore the island that we're on before we cruise, and then we'll be on the other islands when we're, when we're on the cruise. I got another card. Guess what? This card has free hotel stays, and I had enough points for a free hotel stay in, in Hawaii, right next to the cruise port terminal. This is crazy because... This didn't cost me anything, not taxes, nothing. 10-day Hawaiian cruise, spending the night in Hawaii, flying to Hawaii, and it only cost $254 for the cruise and another $11. So let's say $265, $265 to get to Hawaii cruise back, all I have to do, get my flight back from Vancouver, I checked it, it's 200 bucks each, probably, so it's another 400, less than $1,000 total, I mean, we're talking, what, $900, total, 10-day, $900 Hawaiian cruise, getting there and back, it is amazing, that's why you want all these life hacks, and if you haven't already, Please subscribe to the channel and watch this video if you'd like to know more about how to play craps on a cruise to win a free cruise. Thanks for watching. I know this is a short video and a little bit different. I was just really excited about it. See ya.